Hey guys, welcome back to another Chanel collection review. This time it is the 22B collection Fall Winter Act 1. This first bag is really cute. Velvet material. I like the chain details. It's quite cute with the double chain details. If you're looking for a velvet bag, I think this is a good option. The black version and it looks like it might be slightly larger because the price is slightly higher. And yeah, I think it's really cute. This is how it looks like on the model. And this is just the same, but in pink. This season, we're also seeing this mini flap with heart charms on the chain. And it looks a bit um, vintage as well. The metal is a bit more rustic in lambskin. It's quite cute. I do think that in general, this collection is not super exciting for the bags i mean they are nice don't get me wrong i think looking at this it just makes you want to buy it um but it's nothing new it's just more of the flat bags that's how it looks like on the model and it's not as exciting in terms of you know innovation or new design but they know what's best they always do the same things if it's not broken why change it so i guess that's the route they're taking and i do think that this flap is quite cute i like the more square-ish edge uh, corners and it gives me more of a vintage vibe so i quite like that i personally am not attracted to the charms i'm also not a charms person in my bags in general but i think there is an appeal to it uh, some people will like it and I think at this point in time, with all the price increases, of course, you have to be very choosy. You pick and choose things that are missing in your collection, and especially if you like it. If, if you like something, and there's not always a great explanation. Uh, but looking at the texture of this lambskin, it looks really nice. Um, this gorgeous jewel tone burgundy is also very, very beautiful. So... I like what I see, but it's just not so different from what I already own. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's because it's all denim, um, meaning it's all a fabric. It's a printed fabric. I, I think it's just a bit too expensive for what it is at well over $10,000 uh, after you add tax to this. It's a lot of money and... Is it that special? I guess that's what I'm asking myself. It looks like the quilting pattern is just printed on it. I'm not even sure there is an imprint, like a physical imprint on it. So I would probably just pass. Um, I mean, if you're looking for a denim flap, this is definitely an option. At the end of the day, it is a lot of money. So I personally, I like it, but not enough to purchase it. That's my stance on it. I also really like this 19 in this beautiful tweed. I wonder what other colors will be out as well, but it's very pleasing to the eye and the tweed, I mean, the tweed is just so beautiful. Chanel does tweed very, very well and I'm a big fan of the 19 bag. So I, of course, would recommend the 19 bag because I am a big fan. We're just seeing a lot of flat bags and it's not so exciting. For instance, this one, they're just making it in the same fabrics that they have and they're ready to wear. I don't like it. Um, I don't think that it's that special. I mean, if you're all about matching your entire look from head to toe, including your accessories, go ahead. But um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of just head to toe the same. Uh, plus, it'll be really hard to match with your other clothing that is not in the same material. Here's another mini flap. It's all right. At the end of the day, they all look very, very similar. Let's take a look at this one as well. I mean, I'm not really attracted to it, but I think in terms of handbags, um, it is getting a bit redundant. But with some chains that reminds you of the 19, it is a little strange if you ask me. And then they made it in pink which makes it very feminine, but then all the details are very grungy and edgy. 
Um, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Boy bag is back. Current season, we are seeing the trendy in the black hardware or just very, very dark hardware. So if that's your thing, the trendy CC is getting a very pricey as well. Here is the so black version, which is so beautiful. I think if you're not into the classic black and gold look, which can be a bit more feminine and elegant. This one is definitely way more edgy and looks super cool. This little mini flap with top handle. I think it's quite nice. At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but the more I see it on social media, the more I liked it. So I quite like it. I think it's also a bit more money, um, but it, it does help with the structure of the top handle. I have seen some top handles that get really, really wonky especially if it's not been stored properly. And also looking at the lambskin again, just judging from the pictures, of course, it looks beautiful. I am definitely becoming a huge fan of lambskin more than, um, not maybe not more than caviar, but I do think that their lambskin is underappreciated by um, too many of us that are afraid of wear and tear. I think lambskin is way more durable and resistant in the long term and wears better in the long term. So judging from this picture, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I like that this season they're doing it in the more age hardware. It looks very, very nice. And this is definitely on my wish list, except that I found out this season that Canada None of the stores have ordered it, which is very strange if you ask me. Another mini flap, but this one is quite special. It has sequins all over and it's embroidered onto the bag. I'm not sure how much leather material there is. It looks like there is some under the flap as well as on the chain, which is better than nothing, but probably the rest of the bag is a satin, which will be quite um, delicate, but it is so pretty. And I am actually surprised at the price because usually for something handmade, hand embroidered like this, Chanel will usually charge you an arm and a leg. So um, that's quite interesting that they are just pricing this one at a more moderate increase, a piece that you would expect to for them to charge you eight, nine thousand dollars for. So that's interesting. This one is cool. I guess. Um, oh, I see. So it has, it's got this like, I'm not sure if it's Swarovski, but it's got this crystal um, pattern on it. It's very interesting. A lot of you have tagged me <laughs> on this bag because I mentioned before that I was missing a pearl bag in my collection. Um, however, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I'm not attracted to it. I don't think it's doing the same thing as the previous one from 19S. So, um, yeah, I think this one is not as nice. And for some reason, there's no pricing, so it's probably a lot more expensive than we would like to know. So, um, I'm gonna say I have to pass. If anything, I would rather get the sequined embroidered one. This one is quite cute. Not sure what the deal is with this. It's such a small size hobo. Um, I guess they can still call it hobo because of the shape, but I don't understand this very oversimplified design. The, there's not much security. It's a very small size. It's only 19 centimeter wide. It's smaller than your rectangular flap, and I don't see... I don't see what's so special about this. I would say no to this, personally. Same thing with this. I do like the color on this though, the gray color. Gray color is pretty. But then I am a big fan of gray. Um, so this is how it looks on the model. What do you guys think? I'm very lukewarm to this. Uh, usually I like a lot of things from Chanel and I try not to discriminate. I try to remain neutral just because I know there's always something for everyone. This also, I wasn't sure when at first when I saw it, I was like, what is this? It looks a bit complicated to get in and out. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not convinced. I really am not. If you guys think that it's hard or it's silly to do the 22 bag, well then I don't think this is much better. <laughs> Again, you guys know how I feel about the 22 bag. I've spoken about it in length and um, what has happened has happened. But notice how on this bag, even on this picture at least, the grain on the leather is quite grainy. Like the hide looks quite grainy. And I feel like that is the difference in the different bags and why they're behaving differently across the board even where the Chanel is installed you can see quite a bit of grain here and it looks to be a bit thicker too of course it's hard to judge based on pictures but I just felt like my my own bag looks more like this texture just from a, a first glance I suppose it doesn't have as as grainy or as um, deep of a grain, which leads me to believe that maybe it is a thinner hide and therefore is more prone. Look how much smoother it is compared to the white one we saw earlier. Um, and it really does not have anything to do with the color, I think. It just depends on which leather that particular bag is using um, and perhaps my own theory is that perhaps some of the hide is thinner than others and that is making that difference where the rubbing is causing all the issues. That's just my own theory. Uh, obviously they are um, trying to make it more fun by creating more fabrics. Uh, there was supposed to be a denim but apparently um, it didn't come out, so who knows if there's a production issue or just material shortage or just material issue with it as well. So they did do the velvet, but the, as far as I heard anyway, the denim didn't make it onto the 22 bag this season. Um, that is to say it didn't make it into production. Okay, shopping bag. Again, silly, 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 not even going to look into it. Um, I don't know. I think the sizes are just too small to call it a shopping bag. This is 25 centimeter wide. It's so small. It's not so special. So sorry, I'm going to pass on those. Um, if anything, the Deauville tote is much more appealing because at least you've got the size, the capacity. It is a much more substantial, larger bag too, and it is a lot more bulky. And so it's still not my cup of tea. I have had owned a Deauville in the past and I've had the larger version. I'm not sure if it's exactly this one. Maybe not. Maybe I had the in-between version, which is, I think it's the current large size. And while I think it is the coolest bag though, um, I just don't think it's that practical. It is just a bit too big, which is why I quite like the 22 bag. I think the 22 bag is large without being overwhelming. Even something like this, as beautiful as it looks, right? It has too much depth. This is more of a work tote for me. Uh, this one might be closer to how the 19 is, I think. And... I'm a big fan of the 19 myself. Uh, sorry, I meant that this one is closer to the 22 bag, style-wise, size-wise, and everything. So if anything, I'm more of a fan of this one. Also with this design, uh, with nothing coming out of any leather parts, uh, there's nothing that's really rubbing back and forth all the time, and the weight being at the pressure point, so of course, that also helps. Okay, now here's what's getting more exciting for this collection. A beautiful satchel bag that um, is very much a vintage style that was done in the past, uh, but just, I guess, reissued. And it's beautiful. I think it's so pretty. The colors are so pretty. The design is so functional 
Um, it is thin yet still practical. It's got all the chains, top handles, the colors, the construction. Um, it's in caviar. It looks beautiful. So unfortunately, I don't have a use for this, but if I had a use for something like this, I would totally get it because it's really gorgeous and it's a decent, more decent size bag too. Uh, but again, it's more of a work size bag, I suppose. And it's also a bit boxy, which is too serious for everyday wear. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. I love all the chains coming out, the top handle, the longer chain, um, the, you know, the, the way it's constructed reminds me of a classic flap, but then it's really a briefcase. You've got several compartments inside. So yeah, definitely a lovely, lovely satchel. As for the rest of them, again, not a big fan. Also, I'm not usually a big fan of the very rounded bottoms. Um, at the end of the day, they, they all get kind of very similar, a bit too similar. Many brands are doing it as well. So I'm not so sure why you would want to splurge on the Chanel one unless you're just head over heels. I'm not sure how to put my finger on it. Uh, it does have that vintage vibe as well. And I'm not exactly sure if there is a version like this in, in the past, possibly. Um, again, I, I do find it cute. It does have this sort of trunk construction as well. I'm just not a big, big fan of zipper openings. So I shall avoid it, but I do think that it looks very, very, very cute. And of course there is this black version too, which is, I think, slightly bigger. It's in calf skin as well. And that's how it looks like on the model. Round clutch, but in a larger size, 16 centimeter in diameter. Um, I love it. <laughs> I think that this is cute because it's got all the interwoven chain around the design and it has a stunning red interior, stunning hardware all over. It's really, really cute. But why is the price so expensive? I have no idea. It's crazy expensive. This mini camera bag is cute. I like the same chain detail all over. Um, I even like this slightly vintage brushed hardware, um, slightly darker hardware and the bright red interior. It is in lambskin, however, I think having all the hardware around does protect somewhat um, the wear and tear because typically with camera bags, you are wearing it cross body. So there will be some wear and tear occurring where it's rubbing back and forth on your body, but the chain details should prevent some of it, I'm guessing. And last but not least, the Chanel 22 backpack. This is the one that I would just, I would even tell people to not buy it if you ask my opinion. If people say that the 22 bag looks like a garbage bag, well, the backpack really takes the cake in that instance. <laughs> uh, and also, I don't see any added practicality of being a backpack, honestly, aside from alleviating the weight, which Really, these chains are a lot thinner than the usual um, 22 bag as well. So that's not really helping. Um, and again, if you look at just the texture on this leather, it does not seem to have as, as rough of a grain, if that makes sense. There's a slight grain on it, yes, but it's it looks a lot smoother and it looks a lot shinier too. So it really depends on the bag. I feel like that's the main difference when you're looking, um, if you're comparing all the 22 bags and you're just trying to choose the best one because you love it, then that's how I would go about it. Let's take a look at the costume jewelry. Uh, again, I feel like everything is kind of overpriced now. Let me just go through it quickly. I'm going to skip over the ones that I'm not that interested in. Yeah, if anything, maybe these are kind of cute. Um, you know, they're doing the hearts again. They are much smaller sizes, however. These are really stunning, but then again, the price is just astronomical, so 
I'm not necessarily recommending it. I just think that they look nice, um, I, but I think they, they are too expensive. That's how it looks on the model. I mean, is it that stunning that you must get it? No, not really. But if you're looking for a special piece, these are the more special ones from the collection in my opinion. And that's how it looks like on the model. It just reminds me of a very old school type of earring uh, style. So yeah, I always like these. They're very sort of classic looking, 715. It is getting pricier and pricier every single collection. These ones, I do find them cute as well. I think they are just really fun and they are very similar in a sense. Oh, that's how the camera bag looks like. It's quite cute, right? I like all the chain details on it. It's very classic. Um, but yeah, at $1,400, it is a bit much. So I'm not even really recommending it, but I do like it. This last pair, I really, really like. That's how it looks like on the model. It's just a very standard size, not too small, not too big. CC earrings. Let's take a look at the necklaces. Again, I'm probably gonna pass on a lot of things. This choker is, again, it's cute, of course. Um, oh, actually, I don't mind it. I, it is simple because it's just a leather necklace, but it's, it's very stunning. It's very stunning. It will make an impact on your neck for sure. So I say go for it if you like it. And it will be also more comfortable, the fact that it is a leather necklace. Something like this can be really interesting on the neck because it's got a lot of charms around. And I wonder if you could wear this as a choker as well, make it a bit shorter. So this is quite whimsical and um, really cute. Yeah, it looks really cute on. Moving right along. This can be interesting, a bit more sort of Victorian, uh, but just not crazy about the fact that you have to attach it yourself though. This too can be interesting. They're doing more of the leather chokers, which is very 90s, and um, they are probably slightly more comfortable, I would say. That's how it looks like. And then I thought this was really stunning, but I'm sure it will cost quite a bit if it's even showing the price, which it isn't. <laughs> but yeah, it looks stunning on. It's such a beautiful accessory. It's a real stunning piece. What else do we have here? So we are seeing a lot more choker length or slightly shorter length necklaces, which is quite nice. Um, because in the past, it's always been a bit harder to find. Again, I'm a sucker for hearts. Um, you know, I, I have more than enough, so I'm not going to get it, but it's really pretty. It's so pretty, right, guys? Again, more shorter necklaces, which is a nice change sometimes because... In the past, it was really, really hard to get anything on the shorter side. It's always been the longer stuff. This can be cute. I think this can be sort of that fun, longer or shorter necklace because it's adjustable. Price-wise, it's also, um, it's getting up there, but it's also still uh, something that you can work with. You know, if you really did love this charm, you can make it much longer. Like on this girl, she's wearing it on the shorter setting. So it's a bit more versatile that way. You can justify the price a little bit more. This bracelet is very similar to the necklace that we've seen earlier. And I thought it was really fun and whimsical because of all the charms. The charms are so cute. Heart-shaped lock. I'm looking through everything and not necessarily clicking in it because I'm not even sure I like anything I see. Um, at this point, especially with small leather goods, they are getting very pricey, although I am liking this one. I think it's quite uh, classic, you know, a clutch and chain with this very vintage classic 
closure and opening. I'm going to avoid all the zippered items because I've learned my lesson, even though every time I pass by something like this, <laughs> I cannot help but stare at it because it is such a cutie pie. It's so cute on. This one is really, really popular on social media and also it comes in several different colors. And I was most surprised by the price and the size. So it's 15 centimeter across according to the website. So that's not a bad size. If you have the mini phone, then you can possibly put it in. And the compartments look to be very, very spacious for a mini, sorry, I should not call it mini. It's a nano bag. I really like this. It's got everything, the back pocket, the front zip pocket, another zip compartment for something more secure, and then the main compartment. It's got everything and the little top handle too. So if anything, this should be a really hot item this season. Let's take a look at the belts. This is cute very simple. It's looking a lot like every single season where they kind of repeat it but just does it a slightly different way. So for the past two seasons we've seen this chain belt but the charm in the front is different. So this season they're doing the Chanel logo and also they've added CC logos throughout the chain and that's how it looks like. It's stunning. Don't get me wrong, I think it's stunning. If you're still missing this piece in your wardrobe and you like to accessorize with a thin belt, especially one that has a chain detail, I think go for it. I already got two, so I'm refraining from getting anything, but Virginie tends to like to repeat things that are popular, so she's definitely doing a great job at making you want to buy more and more and more. <laughs> This one, I also was really attracted to it. There's something about the belt part coming through diagonally and showing uh, that is very edgy. And I also like how um, it's quite nicely embellished. So it's not showing as well on the model, but just imagine a part of the belt coming out. Here is another belt, really cute really cute design. It is a slightly thinner one than the one that I have. I do have an elastic belt as well from Cruise 2020 and I love mine. Although you really only need one so try to refrain from getting too many. What I like about this one however is that it's got the CC turn lock. Right? Didn't you see that detail there? It's really really stunning. It's a working CC turn lock so I quite like that about this one. Yeah, mine looks more like this one. Mine has the the hook clasp and a slightly thicker belt. And it's also um, elasticated. I believe mine is also in calfskin. Last but not least, the ready to wear. Um, I am finding a bit harder and harder to comment on the collections. I love Chanel always, so it's not like I will stop commenting on the collections but sometimes I do find them quite redundant and maybe they're just not as exciting in terms of like how crazy it's, it can sometimes look like, which is not a bad thing because when they look more wearable and more simple, it's definitely more tailored for the general public. So that's nice about that of course. So these are all of the looks from this season. I will only go through the looks that really attracted me. This jacket is so awesome. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I would still want to wear something like this anymore but in the past I would definitely. It's mostly for the leather look and I like how she draped the scarf. It adds a bit of interest to an otherwise really plain black and almost too edgy of a look. But the bag, mm. this cardigan from afar, I was liking it. Um, the only issue with these kinds of shapes, longer cardigans, is that you have to have a long torso and long legs and usually um, a taller person to pull it off because on me, I will look like as if I have no legs, perhaps. <laughs> That's how it would look like. So I like it on others and it's not like I don't have any long cardigans but whenever I do wear a long cardigan I will usually be in shorts 
so that it shows off more of my legs and maybe just leave the cardigan open. I was also quite interested in this little knitted jacket um, simply because it's got the really cute buttons, of course. Um, I will say, however, aside from the buttons, the jacket itself is quite plain, so it is really up to you if you find that to be a worth it, a worthy investment. Of course, her whole outfit with the romper, belted look, and everything will look great with the jacket, of course, so it still is up to the individual on how to style their items. At first, when we were seeing some previews of the collection, I was really, really keen on this denim jacket. It looks like Chanel has been issuing a few denim jackets at this point, and I like this one just because they did a couple of textures. So this texture, or at least the pattern on top over here, is the quilted material, and then the rest is just that classic denim. So that adds a bit of that, you know, contrast and interest visually. And also that's how the necklace looks like on her. And the 19 version of the tote, which of course with the chains, it looks really, really cool. Hence the reason why I really liked the 22 bag. I also really liked this jacket. This is something that I would have picked in the past as well. Something that, you know, I would have worn in the past. I'm not so sure anymore necessarily. Um, I still like my cropped items, but just I have to sort of take a break from them because I'm not getting any younger. And then sometimes with crop items, it has to be styled a certain way. Uh, it can't just go with every single look, but I will say that this jacket is super cute. This was a jacket that one of my subscriber brought to my attention. This subscriber told me, hey, Amy, you should check out this jacket. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to because it was already spoken for, but I have to agree, aside from the fact that it is maybe a cheaper material, or maybe I shouldn't say cheap, just like a non-tweed material, which normally make the item a bit cheaper price-wise. I really do like how um, the design is quite intricate. It has all the chain details with the pockets and also just a very more boxy shape, but still not too long and not too cropped. So it's quite classic as a shape of a jacket. I feel like bag-wise, it's not as interesting or maybe because my own collection is quite varied and and quite extensive already that i don't find anything super interesting they all are kind of looking very much the same after a while and they're all flat bags so it didn't matter that there was extra charms extra metal whatever like i didn't find that extra appealing to me anyway if you bought something from this collection or if you're eyeing something do share with us down in the comments below thank you so much for watching again if you're new to my channel i would love to have you back so please do subscribe and if you want to support me further you can become a channel member we get more exclusive content or if you want to just treat me to a coffee i would love that as well all the links are down below thank you so much have a great day and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye